so up to now we have learned about the javascript so how we can use the javascript for manipulating the dom and how the javascript is useful in the web development on web ecosystem and all the things we have seen so it's time for us to move to the uh, libraries javascript libraries so for each any programming language has a libraries or the frameworks so we will be having so in javascript also in the same way we will be having the libraries so the first library which we need to learn about this one is a jquery so we'll try today we'll try to have an int introduction about the jquery so what is jquery and how the jquery solves the problem in the website development and how jquery should be helpful for us instead of using the javascript how the jquery solves the complex issues and all those things we'll try to learn so here we're learning about the jquery jquery is one of the most widely used framework or library in the world so up to till today also the jquery what we can say is it is one of the widely used so almost all the web applications whatever the web applications are having so most of the web applications directly or indirectly they are using the jquery library inside their web application so so that is the reason we can say that till today jquery is one of the most widely used so i am telling you not the most widely used, one of the most widely used library in the world so still we are using the jquery so for learning this jquery what we what we should not, what we should have no before this one so first you should have a knowledge in the javascript and also in the web development also so you should have knowledge on these two things so as you already know about the javascript how the basic javascript and all the dom manipulations and all those things you also already have a knowledge in this one and web development also you can you also have a knowledge in this one. so this is the basic library thing so i will try to tell you so how we can using the jquery how we can do the simplest coding and all those things also i will try to show you first we'll have introduction about this one so right now the version the the version of the jquery running is around uh, something like uh, i don't remember three version let's open the jquery if we try to type the jquery here you will be able to see the jquery.com and here right now the version running is the 3.6.1 so version 3 is the version latest version it is running right now so now this is the basic introduction so this is the jquery website and i will try to tell you about the jquery and all those things so this is the basic introduction of the jquery now we understood that jquery is one of the widely used javascript library so that means it is nothing but javascript programming only but it is a javascript library so what problem does uh, jquery solves so this is the main thing we need to understand so why i need to use the jquery instead of javascript and what does this jquery solves the problem for me so that is the main thing you need to understand so before going into the jquery writing the jquery code so how it is useful for me and why i need to learn this jquery instead of javascript so we need to know first let me say that when we go back so jquery uh, what i can say is it started around 2006 actually so in 2006 when we when the web development and all those things so it is going on internet explorer i can say that internet explorer around six or something like that i didn't remember exactly six or seven i think so this is the only browser that is occupying the 85 percent of this market so almost what i can say is if any people are using the web development or if anybody wants to browse the internet means 85 percent of the people are using this internet explorer only which is available in the microsoft windows and at the time firefox is also there so which was introduced so firefox is using by the 11 percent of the remaining people and remaining shares the uh, remaining percentage shares the other browsers so that means internet explorer has the majority of the market so majority of the people will be using ie6 why because at that time so we don't have a that much of uh, technology and all those things are there just at the time only the web development was going on now what has happened is because of this monopoly so microsoft at the time microsoft has so much of uh, what i can say is a market uh, in hands and all those things they are having right now it's uh, all different so the what it has been made is so microsoft has their own browser ie6 which was used more widely and they implemented their own activex control so we have seen this right so in our ajax calls when we are trying to do xml http activex request so these are all the things has implemented as developed by this microsoft only 
okay activex control so that means nothing but xml http request object so these are all activex controls so these are all implemented these are all implemented by this microsoft and they have made it in the internet explorer but afterwards we have seen about the promises and also the fetch apis and all those things we have seen it so these are all different things but this has made what i can say is and the dom manipulation also the dom manipulation so which we have learned it the dom manipulations and all those things also they have implemented their own way of implementation okay they have used their own way of implementation for making the dom manipulations for accessing these activex controls and all those things they have written they didn't follow the standards why because uh, at that time 85 percent of the people are using internet explorer so what they write and what they define is the they will be thinking that those are those are only the standards they have thought at the time so and the remaining what i can say what i can say is the 15 percent of the browsers are there right so they followed the standards and they and if you want to write a web application code in the 2016 i am saying that in the 2006 something like that so in the 2006 something like that sometimes we need to have in such a way that we will be writing even different uh, sometimes the internet explorer also uses different html coding also so that is a problem came at the time so that is the reason what i have what i have uh, what the people have to write it is in the 2016 sorry 2006 so for example if they want to write some javascript code which supports which need to be support in all the browsers means so they need to write something like if is ie then do the logic for microsoft so do the logic for microsoft else if it is not this one means then do the logic do the logic for like everybody okay so like this one so like like this we need to implement in the 2006 something like that <clears throat> so like this it used to happen in the 2006 so this 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 will be a so much of pain for the at the time the web developers and all those things so now what has happened is <coughs> So the jquery solves this type of all the problems when the jquery came and all those things now there is no need to implement these all the things so you can implement the implement uh, you can write the code and the implementation in the jquery manner and the jquery will take care of these all the things so supporting in all the browsers and all those things jquery takes care of this one so this is the main thing which jquery has the, the problem it has solved it so at the time when the 2006 it is there so the microsoft followed these all the standards so because of that reason so the jquery solves these all the problems so that is the main problem in the 2006 which the jquery has gained so much of popularity so that is the main thing that is the main thing i can say so right now it's going on going on going on so the standards has been established and all those things because of this reason ie6 the microsoft has itself uh, has closed this uh, ie ie thing so because of the thing and they started ie edge also which doesn't gain that much of popularity because of their uh, mistakes and all those things what they have did at the time so that is the reason so at that time there was that uh, there was no technology in, uh, improvement and all those things at the time so the microsoft has did their own standards and they implemented so they didn't follow this all the standards and all those things because of that reason remaining 15 percent of the browsers also has to support these uh, activex controls and all those things including these all what i can say is including these all the javascript standard w3c standards they need to follow but later on going on going on going on so ie explorer the the community and all those things are uh, old and all the internet the web development so they have forgotten this microsoft ie explorer and all things now they have came with a new browser ie edge still they are struggling actually what i can say is the chrome and these all the things are taking over the market so fine <clears throat> so this is all history and all those things so these are all uh, things we can we can forget it so let's go on to the topic so that is the problem so jquery solves this is the problem now let's try to learn so we understood what the problem jquery actually solves we have seen it so now the uh, the latest frameworks are there right so let's just like angular and all those things they even they don't even bother about the internet explorer also so this angular code and all those things they don't even work in the ie explorer also they don't even bother about the problem so they work in the all the major uh, browsers because of that reason only they came with an ih and all those things the latest uh, uh, frameworks and libraries they didn't even bother about this ie thing so they bother about ie 11 the latest one which still in the 
market but the microsoft has removed the, that one support also soon two three three years four years down the line so entire uh, internet explorer will vanish so that is the reason they have introduced with the eh with all following all the w360 standards and all those things so that is the that is the thing which i can say but the jquery at the time which was introduced in the 2006 so they need to support these all the things why because in 2006 ie is the leading browser so that is the reason jquery was there now let's go on to the <coughs> so this is the whole introduction what i can say is this is the whole introduction of the jquery so why jquery what is the jquery and what the jquery problem solves for us so why jquery was invented uh, which problems to solve these all the jquery was invented these are all the things so this is the reason why the jquery will find it very useful in our web development so this is the main thing